Okay, we are back today with a ton of art. All right, in today's video, we are gonna go through some of my old art from as young as my childhood up until my most recent pieces. Recent pieces, Reese's pieces. There's a connection there. So yeah, let's get started. Actually, wait, before I do, I want to shout out my website really quick because it needs some love right now. If you wanna go check out my website, Quiet Doodling, it has all my artwork up there. Not to date, someone should get on that. But you can purchase some of my art prints that I have for sale up there, and including some of the art that you've seen in these videos. So you can check that out, as well as read more about me and who I am as an artist. But let's push that aside, and let's get started on digging into our art. Okay, the way I had them filed does not make sense to me in my brain. I had it in sections, like a Posca Doodle September of last year in watercolor, and then just random art flowing, flowing around. So let's see. I think Doodles will probably have some of my oldest artwork. Yep. Okay, first up, these guys. I remember as a kid I drew these and they were my cartoon characters that I loved, especially this guy. I was so proud of him. And this guy, I might have to redraw him at some point because he was so much fun. But I was obsessed with Paper Mario and I wanted the kind of like allies to go with it. Let me just cover it all. But that's what these guys kind of were. And I did still mega from Paper Mario right here. I just made up a bomb walking that was like a super Paper Mario buddy. But yeah, that's what these guys were. And I love this little robot. I do love this robot. This was my first ever attempt with pastels. And I made this in an after school program with some of my kids. And I don't know why Mario looks so scary, but he definitely does. I drew this in a meeting. It was a little dead me. Aw. Some of these I made with my kids, so I told them to give me what the head should be like, what the body should be like. So these are some good memories with them there. Camping. Me and my friends each took a segment of the body to draw and folded it so we couldn't see what it was, and we all passed it along. So I think I drew... What did I draw? What did I draw? This part, maybe? Yeah, because those look like my hands. The head, and I drew the bum. <laughs> Oh, my Valentine's cards. I made these with my kids. Okay, I don't know why, but I am obsessed with this little peach that I drew. I just love it. I think this was one of my first Posca... No, not Posca. Cop Copic markers. I think I started to draw this one of my first things with Copic markers. Hey, my Smurf! If you guys remember this, you have been around for a while. This was one of my first things. Yep. This was my actual first drawing I drew with my Copic markers. Okay, this is a Mario from January 2018. I think I was just looking at a picture to copy it, and that's what it was. So, I'd say I probably have grown since then, because I've drawn Mario a couple times, and I definitely like him better now. I drew this in high school. This was one of my friends. She was playing Pennywise in Urinetown. If you know what Urinetown is, you're automatically very cool in my brain. These are some of the ones that I have as prints. So there's my pride, pride ones. I love this guy, he's my favorite. This is my favorite pride print that I have. Kirby. I went to the aquarium with my friend Tana and that's where the inspiration for this one was because they had some glow in the dark fish. This is a Halloween print that is actually gonna be up on my store by the time that you're seeing this. So that'd be pretty sweet to go buy one of these. And I do try to keep my prints cheap because I know how expensive art can be, but your boy's gotta make a living somehow sometime soon. Boggly Woods. I love this Paper Mario one. I think that's, I love it. I mean, it took a while, but it's just kind of cute. It's like a little postcard. I do like that one a lot, actually. And I love the shiny tree. Another Halloween print. He will be up on my store. I love this one. This was one of my first pieces I ever did with watercolor, actually. Yeah, and I did it on a little postcard. Will I ever send it off? Nope, because I love it. 
these are other Mario locations that I've done. Like I said, I'm obsessed with Paper Mario. So if you guys know where these are located at in the Paper Mario games, then you're automatically a cool person in my mind. I want to retry to do Princess Peach's Castle because I think it deserves better. So my friends and I got Posca pens and just first wanted to try it out. My friend Willoughby is amazing and she was the one kind of who got me started back into art. And it all started with a white, where is it? My white jelly roll pen. She got me back into art basically just using this pen alone. So thank you, Willoughby. You're amazing and I love you. Tom Daly. I posted this on my Instagram. I love Tom Daly with all my heart and soul. There was a moment where I'd steal these paint chips from the stores and I just paint on them. I love this one. Um, this one was kind of fun. Remind me of Ice Climbers. This was Conan Gray's. Um, if you know me, you know that I love my mug. It says, hello, pumpkin. It's coffee spilling out. A ba bomb Lipped in. Love potion. I like that one. Little red. Vomit. And a cactus. I like this one, too. Oh, I miss these. Articuno. Charmander. These are with my Posca colored pencils, I want to say. Posca colored pencils? Yeah. These are with my Posca colored pencils. Dust skull. I love this guy. And Torchic! You guys, I love this picture of Torchic so much. This is my most recent Mario, so flashback to that 2018 Mario. I like him much, much better. This is Luca. I tried him out with my King Art gouache set straight out. It was really hard to layer and get colors correct. So he's not my favorite, but you know, I did good with what I had. <laughs> of course, you've seen my fields now. I love this one of Jigglypuff. And I love this Midnight one. This is a Pokemon that I randomly fused together uh, with the Pokemon generator thing online. And I think it's one of my new favorite things. I think it's Teddy Ursa and Chandelier? Chandelump? Chandelium? Chandelump? Chandelump? Something. Psyduck and Apom. I hate Apom in this, but I love Psyduck. I don't know how many of you guys have seen Rocky Horror, but this is Janet. This was my Prisma color pencils, I think. Yeah, Prisma color pencils. The Rumor Umbrella Academy. This is one of my most hated pieces of all time. I hate it with more passion in me than I could ever even imagine to tell you how much I hate. I can't even speak correctly with how much I hate this piece. One, my little sunshine on my mind shirt. Okay, I do have to admit this one was pretty clever because this, are, these are the notes to stay awake from Mary Poppins because it's a, like a song that I love. And the words were pirate and rest. So it's a lullaby written in music notes. Anyways, that nerding out. Wow. If you can figure out who this is, you also get bonus points. Now we are to the sketchbooks. Oh, so this is 2017, Pennywise. I think I have some other characters in here. Okay, but I have to be a little bit proud of that one because that looks exactly like that kid. Exactly. This, I believe, was beginning of 2020, or this was the ending of 2019. I draw the Smash Bros characters. I really like this, like, hash, hashing? Is that what it's called? Hatching? Hashing, hatching. Anyways, I saw this back in high school. I saw this artist called Ellie Collarbones that would do her art like this, and I loved it. So I wanted to try that out. Uh, which is weird because this was like two years later. Oh, I like this guy. He's fun. A little zipper man. They remind me of, is it Nine? That movie Nine with the little zipper dolls. I like this skull. That's probably the best skull I'll ever draw. <laughs> you guys, this is my first ever Pasca drawing. <laughs> it was the cactus. Oh, silly little cactus. Burnt cinnamon. This one's fun. It's not great, but it's just colorful and I like it. Oh, I love this one. This was with watercolor. I was using Artist Loft watercolor. And 
I thought it was the best thing ever until I realized, oh, it's not actually great watercolor. <laughs> but it did the trick. It was a fun little drawing. I think that's it. I went through most of my art. I can't find my childhood art, but as soon as I do, you know that you'll be seeing a video about it. But I hope you guys liked it. It has shown me just kind of my progression as an artist. I'm still not to the point of where I want to be, and that's okay. I'm being patient with myself, but already I have seen progress in what I have done and what I'm currently drawing. I'm feeling more confident with myself and being able to get to a point of where I can draw things faster too. That's another thing that I've realized is I can draw things much faster than I used to be able to. What used to take me three hours now only takes me an hour maybe or something like that. So if you wouldn't mind, go checking out my website, quietdoodling.com and you can see all my artwork. You might see some of the prints that you saw in this video up there for sale. And like I said, I do try to keep things relatively cheap. So if, if you liked it, great, go check it out on the website. Until next time, best wishes, warmest regards.